door now to Zimbabwe, where the main opposition, that's the Movement for Democratic Change, is convening an emergency meeting. The party wants to decide whether or not to boycott the election. This follows a heated meeting earlier, where the Zimbabwean Electoral Commission dismissed the party's concerns ahead of next Monday's poll. Well, the MDC alleges the ballot paper is compromised and that the ZEC is biased towards the governing party. It's significant that Nelson Chamisa has called this emergency meeting between the members of the MDC alliance, further putting the country on tenterhooks. They would make an assessment on whether it is worth to go into an election or not. But if you can my God, you can accuse me. But I can raise you cannot accuse me. I can raise this follows a chaotic meeting between political parties as well as the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission where it also emphasized that it will not give in to some of the demands that have been made especially by the opposition parties and accusations flew left, right and center leading to ZANU-PF storming out of that meeting. But unfortunately, they, they, whenever they, they think that they're about to lose an election, they, they then want to lay allegations against ZANU-PF. At least one presidential candidate, Divine Wuve, has decided to pull out of the race, leaving only 22 presidential candidates who are in the running to become president of this country. On the other hand, the police say they will ensure that the July 30 elections are free, fair and peaceful. We expect the police to know more on human rights. We also expect them to have high discipline. A record number 71,000 police officers will be deployed across the country. Aldrin Simpia, Harare.